Welcome back to Tennis Talk, my name's Cam Williams, and we have a big event this week, an ATP 500 event, the Vienna Open. It's a big event with a lot of big names playing. Towards the end of the season, players looking to get into form before the ATP Finals, of course, the Davis Cup is happening at the end of the year as well, so a lot of players looking for some form. We haven't got the defending champion, Rublev, but we do have a lot of big names playing. Let's start at the top of the draw. So starting at the top of the draw, and Stefano Pass. He plays Grigor Dimitrov in the first round. That is a crazy first round matchup. The number one seed versus Dimitrov, who's in great form. Circle, that one is one to watch. That is a dangerous match for Pass. Winner of that match takes on either Lajovic or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Monfils versus Musetti. Winner of that match takes on either Fanini or the number eight seed Schwartzman in the second round. So another blockbuster first round matchup. It's a crazy, crazy tournament. Then we've got the number four seed, Rudd. He takes on Harris in the first round. That is a tough matchup for Rudd. Very, very tough. Harris in good form. Winner of that match takes on either Sonego or Garen in the second round. Then we've got the wild card, Dennis Novak, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Opelka or the number seven seed, Sinner. So all the seeds in the first round here are getting terrible matchups. Very tough. We could see a lot of upsets in this event with Sinner taking on Opelka. That's dangerous for Sinner. So the players to watch out for, you got to watch out for the big seeds. City Pass and Rudd, both playing the ATP Finals at this stage. You think Rudd would probably qualify with a couple more wins. And City Pass has already qualified. But you've got to keep an eye on Sinner as well. A lot on the line for him this week. He is in contention of making the ATP Finals. But it's got a very tough first round with Opelka. Doesn't have a good draw, so we'll see what happens. But a lot on the line, especially for guys like Sinner and Rudd, who are still yet to qualify for the ATP Finals. Sinner especially needs a big week this week. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, and another blockbuster. The number five seed, Hercatch, taking on Murray in the first round. Another match you got to watch in that first round. Nightmare for her catch. The winner of that match takes on either Elkarez or Evans in the second round. Then we've got Vasilashvili taking on Karina Busta. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Berrettini in the second round. Then we've got Oje Aliassim, the number six seed, taking on Berenkis. Winner of that match takes on either Nori, the Indian Wells champion, who's unseeded, taking on Fucevic in the first round. We'll see how that one plays out. Then we've got Diminor taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Krajanovic or the number two seed Zverev in the second round. And that is another tough matchup for a seed in this one. Super, super dangerous draw. Players to watch out for. You've got to watch out for Zverev and Berrettini. Both have already qualified for the ATP Finals. So at this stage, they're just looking for some form going into the final weeks of the season. Definitely got to keep an eye on Hercatch. He could be playing in Turin at the ATP Finals if he has a good week here. But he's got to get through Murray in that first round. That's a nightmare. And you've got to keep an eye on Nori Because Cam Nori is also in contention after winning Indian Wells last week. He is in contention of making the ATP Finals as well and being unseated. Man, what a draw. This is absolutely stacked, this draw, with the unseated players could easily win this event. I mean, anybody could win this event, as we saw at Indian Wells, and this is a very similar draw to that. So a lot on the line for a lot of players, especially for those ATP final spots. Only a couple left. So there you have it. What a crazy draw. Absolutely stacked. Anybody could win this. Like I said, you got players like Nori, who are unseated. Even Basilashvili, who made the final of Indian Wells. He's unseated. All the top seeds are having bad first rounds. You've got Murray playing her catch. You've got Fanini versus Schwartzman. You've got City Pass Dimitrov. I mean, it's just going to be a nightmare for the seeds in this one. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? Because I have no idea who is going to win this one. It could be anybody. It could be City Pass. It could be someone who's unseated. Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win. So having a look at the draw, and I'm going to go with Berrettini to win this one, just because he's not playing against a very tough opponent in the first round. He could be getting a second round opponent that's very tough, but he's playing a qualifier in the first round, and that's the only reason I'm picking him, because he's got the easiest first round out of everybody that is seeded. So I'm going to go with Berrettini to win this one, but again, anybody could win this. Who knows? Could be an unseeded play. Could be a qualifier. Who knows? Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win? So the Vienna Open. It's a stacked event and no seed is safe.